Good morning. Uh, it's weekend, so we are doing slightly more grown-up ones. If you are doing it with children, can you make sure you supervise them because we're using power tools today. We're going to make some beautiful uh, tin can lanterns. So we're upcycling tin cans. So what I have here, this was, I think condensed milk. I've done a lot of baking. Condensed milk, and I've filled it with water and stuck it in the freezer. Now the reason for that is when you're drilling or if you haven't got a drill you can use a nail and a hammer when you hit the tin it's going to flex and it's going to bend so by freezing the water in it that gives you a solid structure to drill into which makes it much much easier and it, it saves the tent, uh, the tent, the tin tenting. <laughs> Very long morning. Um, so yeah, so what I've done is I've taken it out of the freezer about 10 minutes ago, it's very cold. And I've drawn my design. Now before I drew my design, I gave it a good dry because obviously the condensation, as soon as you take it out of the freezer in this weather, it just gets covered in water. So I've given it a good dry and I've drawn my design on. Now as you can see, I made a bit of a mistake. I'm not worried about that because I'm going to take that off with nail varnish remover at the end. Uh, other brands are available. I have just drilled one hole, I don't know if you can see. And all I'm going to do is go round the outside of my shape. Now, depending on how big you want the holes, depends on the size of the drill bit you want to use. So this is actually the smallest drill bit I have, other than a little diamond one, and I wasn't sure if that would work. And I'm just going to gently press down, and as soon as I go through, I stop. You don't have to drill into the ice. It's a bit stiffy. Now I've got it on a towel to stop it sliding around. Oh. Now I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me drill all these holes. So what I am going to say to you is once you've drilled all your holes, Remember, you're going to probably want to hang these. If you don't want to hang them, don't worry about it. So just mark on each side and then drill a hole. For your piece of string to go through. OK, so one on each side. Once you have done that. Go and pop your tin in some hot water and let it defrost so that the ice drops out. And then I'll come back and I'll see you um, in a couple of seconds, actually, but it should be about 40 minutes. No, it won't. Well, but yeah, 40 seconds. You know what I mean. OK, see you soon. So I'm back. Um, I've defrosted my tin. Um, I've now got an empty tin um, and my design on the front. So I have got a couple of burrs. I can feel them which not the worst thing in the world but if you've got kids or pets and people might be pushing against it so all i've done is started to sand very gently any burrs that i have to get rid of them and that's kind of the worst of them there now i've still got my black line which i know we're going to paint it but permanent markers will quite often come through paint so all i'm going to do is use a bit of nail varnish remover and if I run that around my design it will remove any bits of the black that I've got left. Oh, I've still got a burr there, I've just noticed. Ooh. Let me get rid of that one. There we go. So, I'm all clean. Now at this point you can either leave it like that which is absolutely fine or you can paint it now I would suggest if you're going to paint it that you use spray paint and that's just a personal choice so I've got and I'm going to oh I was going to prime it and I've lost my nozzle there we go. Um, I'm just going to use a primer to start with to make sure it's totally dry or the paint's not going to get adhere at all okay and I'm just going to pop a quick layer of primer on now in this heat, it would dry really, really quickly. Now can I suggest when you're doing this, you normally wear a mask and you do it outside. It's only because this house is so used to it. Um, yeah, and I'm only doing one very quickly. 
once that's dried you can then spray paint it with whatever colour you choose so I'm going to do this one white I am going to do some more for the garden that I plan on doing um, like a turquoise and an orange and a pink so quite bright and funky colours and I might not do all hearts um, I might just do some with just random patterns on them um, and what you can do as well is if you keep the pattern above a certain level you can actually fill the tin with candle wax so go back to your citronella candle last week you can actually just make the tin the actual container that the wax goes in if not I'm just going to drop a citronella candle um, in here I've got a really small glass jar that I was going to make one in um, and I'm just going to drop that into there so of an evening when I'm sat I'll get the light coming through and I will also ooh, here we go um, yeah and I'll also get the citronella the benefits of it so once I've done that I'm going to get a piece of string when it's dry put that through tie a knot at each end and then I've got a hanging um, tea light holder in the garden um, and as I say it doesn't have to hang if you want to you can just pop them onto the table and they look just as pretty like that so summer is here tomorrow I'm looking at creating planters out of tin cans and how you can be a little bit more creative with them and some little sneaky hints and tips okay <laughs>